Hello and welcome to part two of Karkaveska Southwest Test Battle. While the boys reload the rocket trucks for their second and final salvo of heavy rockets, let's do a quick assessment of the opening salvo and summarize where things stand on the battlefield. As we pause in the command phase going into turn three, here's how things look. The Soviets have taken seven casualties, plus a peppering of light wounds. On the left flank, notable losses include the commander of 1st Company 1st Platoon. On the right, 2nd Company's machine gun team lost their gun, and 3rd Squad 1st Platoon lost three men to heavy machine gun fire from the hospital when they fled into the open. No units have suffered a serious drop in morale yet. On the German side, the rocket fire appeared to knock out the heavy machine gun at the hospital, along with a radio man in the same location. No other casualties were visible, but what looks like three units at the hospital and one squad at the corner building were forced to displace out of line of sight by the barrage, and our right flank is now quiet. I forgot to mention in the setup that each of the three German companies has a forward observer, a scout team, and a heavy machine gun attached to its HQ. That makes for a big network of artillery spotters, so every radio man we can gun down helps keep that sizable German arsenal off our backs. Meanwhile, on the left flank, the two identified SS units behind the Memorial Park spent the second minute in a firefight with battalion machine guns and elements of First Company. Let's pick up the action there and continue with the battle. Second armored car and further back first tank second platoon are sent in to provide fire support. A new unit is spotted as the closest falls back. On the right flank, a scout car is sent forward, and infantry scattered by the barrage is ordered back into position. Armored Car 1 puts recon fire on a building I'm calling the Body Shop. Since Armored Car 1 was unharmed, 1st Tank 1st Platoon is sent forward for right flank fire support. And no sooner has the order been given than 2nd Platoon Sniper Team spots an AT gun. The spot is incomplete and is quickly lost. However, an old threat suddenly re-emerges from the hospital. The killing round is from the hospital infantry squad, now on the sixth floor of the middle section. Meanwhile, on the left flank, the rest of Tank Platoon 2 is sent in to help shoot up the Memorial Park area.
With foliage blocking line of sight to the SS infantry locations, the tanks of 2nd Platoon used their hefty HE loadouts to work on knocking out accessible wall locations and general defoliation. Despite the sound and the fury, neither side takes visible casualties on the left flank over the minute. Unlike the right flank, where the hospital squad is chucking Panzerschreck rounds at anything it can see. and casualties are being taken. The AT gun decides to get in on the action and starts to shoot up 1st platoon. 1st squad eats a round, while 1st tank desperately tries to sight its gun to follow an area fire order on the AT gun's location. The gun has a nice little keyhole position. So far, Tank 1 has been safe, but for how long? Well, at least a breather is gained from Shrek fire from the hospital, as the squad there displaces deeper into the building to escape rocket fumes and small arms fire. And lastly for this minute, a Tiger tank is spotted just behind the Panther ID'd at the beginning of the battle. Entering the 6th minute, Tank 1 starts putting area fire on the anti-tank gun location, as pre-planned smoke rounds begin to fall. Forcing Tank 1 to stop firing before the AT gun can be knocked out. But not before lookouts catch a glimpse of the tiger moving up and repositioning... somewhere. Back on the left flank, 2nd Platoon's HQ tank moves up for a better position. Resistance softens, the smokescreen forms, and assault troops wait for the order to attack. The word is given, and 3rd Squad 1st Platoon Special Assault moves out of reserve. On the right flank, another Tiger is spotted. And, as the heavy rocket barrage begins, another tiger. But, despite the danger, 3rd Squad goes in. And there is danger. 